She just gave you permission, Shake! She just gave you permission, Shake! If your husband came to you for a second wife, what would you feel? Oh, she said, I'll take care of that. What about you? I don't mind. Do you feel like a person could become a better Muslim by having two wives? 100%. 100%. I don't know. Would you ever get a second wife? Not one wife, four wives. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. This is Sharia. This is Sharia. What's the matter? Oh. Uh. Street, street tower. Assalamu alaikum, guys. Eid extravaganza. Asking some fun questions to the Muslims. Let's go talk about it. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Sure. Uh, how do you like the festival? I'm loving it. I love the atmosphere. You're it's the it? best! It's really nice. It's nice. It's very uh, common and relaxful. Good. Nice. Is it good? Yeah, nice. You know why they're celebrating this? No, I don't. Can you tell me? Of course. Have you ever heard of the Eid Festival? Any of you? Yes. You've heard of Eid Festival? How about you? No. No, she's like, no, you haven't. I have. What do you know about the Eid Festival? I know it's a celebration or something. What do you know about Eid? I don't know a lot. I didn't. I actually did not know that this was for Eid. But I was really? just telling her that this is what it's for. Really? Mm -hmm. Have you heard of the Eid celebration before? Not the celebration, but I've heard of Eid. You've heard of Eid. Mm -hmm. Eid is the celebration after the Hajj. You ever heard of Hajj? No. It's the pilgrimage. You've heard of the Hajj. It seems like it, right? Have you heard? Have you heard of Ramadan before? I have. Not that I've heard of. So after the 30 days of fasting, there's a celebration called Eid. Okay? okay, we have two Eids. That's the first Eid, this is the second Eid, okay. right? When the Hajj is finished, that's when we have the Eid celebration right now, okay? It's also a commemoration of, do you, are you familiar with the Prophet Abraham? Yes. Right. Are you familiar with Abraham? Yes. It's yes. wonderful, right? So he had a son, right? Who he was instructed through revelation to sacrifice on the mountain, correct? Yes. 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 Now, we, in honor of that sacrifice of God, testing him in passing, we also take care of a lamb and we sacrifice a lamb, giving the meat to the poor. Okay. Yeah, it's something we do as well. So this is all a part of that celebration. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, let me ask you, what did you grow up as? Because I'm assuming you're not a Muslim. I am not. I'm a Christian. So you believe in Jesus? Yes. Yeah. Did you know Muslims believe in Jesus too? Yeah. Yeah. You're familiar with mm -hmm. that? Yes. So we believe he will be coming back as well too. The whole Antichrist, we believe in the whole situation, right? Now let me just get a clarification. Do you believe Jesus was God or do you believe he was someone sent by God? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. You're not sure? No. I'm not. What do you feel in your heart? I just believe in God. Is you just believe in God? Yeah. He was sent by God. Okay. Sent by God. He was sent by God. Okay. Now, the fact that you said that right now, do you know that puts you in alignment with the Muslims? No. Yes. Yeah. Now, the fact the fact that you said that he was sent by God shows that you're in the alignment of the Muslims. A lot of times, we don't realize how close we are to each other, you know? Sometimes we're taught to divide each other when we actually have to come together. This separation thing has gone on for too long, and we have to unite our energies, our resources, and everything together because we're on the same planet together. We got to learn to live with each other, yeah? Yes. So as Muslims, what we understand to believe is that God is one and alone. He doesn't have any partners whatsoever. And we believe Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him, came from the Virgin Mary. Yes? Right? And he was uh, had the miracle from the Holy Spirit, which we believe is the angel Gabriel, mm -hmm. yes. which is the same archangel who came to the Prophet Muhammad and gave him revelation. Do you know anything about the Prophet Muhammad? I don't. No. Uh, no, no. So you know who Jesus was, right? Yeah. So Prophet Muhammad is a messenger just like Jesus. The Prophet Muhammad was the last and final messenger sent to mankind. Okay. And he was given the last and final book. Do you know what that book was called? Uh. I don't remember by I'm sure. You've heard. It's called the Quran. Oh, yeah. You've heard of the yeah, Quran, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the last book. Oh, the last book. Last book. So Jesus was given the old, the New Testament. Moses had the Old Testament. The, uh, Prophet Muhammad has the Final Testament. It's the Quran. Oh, okay. Yes? It is the only book that was compiled in the life of the prophets. And on top of that, it is memorized by millions of people. Right? You gotta admit, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. Right? So, we just wanted to go around, catch some of your thoughts, see how you guys are doing here, and see if you could get an interview. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. My friend, thank you so much. God bless you, okay? Have a beautiful and blessed day, and, and take care of your beautiful family, and we pray for nothing but for the best. Thank you, and same uh, One thing, I want to ask you one question though, okay? Tell me something you love about your mom. She is beautiful, she's the best, she always takes care of me, and she is my favorite. I said one thing, you said a whole story. <laughs> Wonderful job, may Allah bless you guys. Okay, take care guys, take care. What are we doing here, boys? What are we doing here, boys? Okay, 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 we out here. Assalamu alaikum, assalamu alaikum. Of course, of course, let's do a picture first. Oh yes, come over here, may Allah bless you. Give a message to your future wife. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh, you, man. Hmm. Hi. I'm sorry if I say <laughs> Hi. Hi, hi, hi. hi. 
Yeah. Salam alaikum. That's all. Salam alaikum. Tell me something you love about your parents. They take care of me every second. What do you love about your mom or dad? Um, they're people that I trust worthy. Yes, yes. What do you love about your mom or dad? Um, they take care of me. She cooks me everything and she feeds me food. She, she has good cooking, you know. Yeah. Good cooking is important, moms. Who do you love more, mom or dad? Um, both. Both? Oh, no, I don't know. When was the last time you got into an argument with your mom or dad? When was that? How long ago? Yeah, we were getting late and today, so I got mad a little. So today we're talking about, right? Never. You never got into an argument with mom and dad. I'm going to ask them that same exact question and see what they say. What about you? Be honest. Two days ago. Two days ago. Tell us what it was about. Uh, I have to play for a certain time and then get off. Look at my PlayStation. I had this party my friend invited me to and they said no. I okay. I go because I failed my test. Okay, that's important. Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah, you should have start with that part that you failed the test and hence they said no, rather than the other way. See, one way makes them sound like they're oppressing you. The second way sounds like they're disciplining you. Right. You see the difference? Now, first and foremost, astaghfirullah. Yeah, astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. Okay, now, you being the bigger brother, right, you need to set an example for the little brother. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, you got to remember something. You only have one mom, truck. Okay. okay, one mom. You got to love her. If your mom or baba was to pass away, do you think you would regret being mad at them and having that argument? Yeah. So don't you think it's a better idea not to do that? Yeah. Do you think a PlayStation is worth disrespecting your mom or your dad? No. Think about that for a second. You understand me? Yes. It's not worth it. When you get older, are you going to argue with your parents? No. 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 You know you only get one set of parents, a mama and baba. Yes. yes. You have to be very kind to them. You understand? Yes. Very nice to them. Listen to them. Yes. yes. Because if you want an easy ticket to paradise, respect your parents. Absolutely. Mama or baba, who do you love more? Baba! Uh-oh! Expose it 4K! MashaAllah, Barakallah, okay? Listen, a companion came to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Say 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 Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. MashaAllah. And he asked, what is something that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala loves? Right? Do you know? Uh, when you listen to his rules and be kind to your parents. Being kind to your parents is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. And when a companion asked the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that who do you love after him and Allah and his messenger, who do you love? He said your mom. Yeah. Do you know he said after that, after, he said who? Allah. Your mom. Oh, oh, your mom. And then after him? And then Baba. Yeah. Baba. You understand? Always tells me that, yeah. Absolutely, right? Exactly. So you have to respect the parents. You understand? Yeah. And listen, as you get older, you and your dad, you guys got to become friends. You understand? Friends, okay? Dad, you heard that? Friends, okay? So I want you to look in that camera and say, I'm sorry to your mom and dad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Yes, right? You have to say sorry to your parents. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Uh, disrespecting you. Absolutely, right? And when was the last time you told your mom or your dad you loved them? Yesterday. Yesterday. Yesterday? Yes. Why don't you look at the camera and say, I love you, mom. I love you, mom. I love you, mom. Yeah, what about the dad, though? Why are you playing your dad like that, though? What about your dad? I mean, everyone's supposed to love their dad and their mom at the same time. So, so give a shout out to your dad. I love you, dad. Shout out to all the dads in the world. That's it. That's it. Say, say you love your dad. I love my dad. Isn't it interesting that you got in a fight with her and someone asked you about that question today? Isn't that, isn't that something? I don't know. Yeah, it is. Because there's I, nothing as a coincidence. You understand? In Islam, there's no coincidence. It, I don't believe in it. This Islam. is from Allah. Yeah, it's Allah's plan. Yeah, it happens for a reason. So I want you to look at that camera and apologize to your mom right now. I'm sorry, mom. I'm sorry, mama. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tell her you love her. I love, I love you, mom. mama. Dad, forget the dad. Forget the dad. The mom's more important than the dad. Okay, I want you to look at the camera right now and say, I love you, mom. I love you, mama. Yeah, the baba say, I love you, baba, too. I love you, baba. That's it. That's it. Sheikh, I want to ask you some questions right now, real quick. Real, some grown questions. Some grown questions. Uh, you're married, correct? Alhamdulillah, yeah. Uh, how many wives? One. Just one wife. For now, one. Uh, I would be four, but one is uh, more sufficient. One right now. Just one right yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> Two times. Two times? Yes. Two times or two wives? <laughs> two wives. Two wives. Alhamdulillah, you have two wives. Yeah. Okay, talk to me, talk to me. Okay. What is your advice to people who, who want to get a second wife? Now, of course, it's halal. Alhamdulillah. We're not going to argue this. Alhamdulillah. All. Uh, uh, you have to treat them with justice. Yes. Otherwise, it's a big burden on the day of judgment. Absolutely. Uh, I think if you're doing it correctly, uh, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a, you know, it's sunnah. It's sunnah. My advice to be fair. To be a man, when you become as a man, you deserve not one wife, four wives. Oh, wow. Okay. This is, this okay. Is sharia. This is Sharia. He's this going. He said, the fuck we doing this. Okay, Sheikh. For the men, do you recommend them to have it? Yes. What do you think are the benefits of having two wives? Number one, you'll be rich. 
Number oh. two, you be wisdom. Number okay. three, you be fair. Let's talk logically. Man, he he need he need two wives to be straight up. Oh wow! Yes, I'm being. I'm, I'm real. Yeah, listen, we need the realness, all right? We need the realness. Yes, yes. If you spoke to your wife about a second wife, how, how do you think that conversation would go? She probably wouldn't be too happy at this point. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know. I mean, of course, no no woman's gonna be happy when their husband's getting another wife. But Subhanallah, you know, even even the, the prophet's wives weren't happy about that. It, it, Jealous. We can't control the jealousy, you know. Absolutely. So we always, I tell my wife, she is as big for me as four wives. Wow. She fills my life like as though I am. And I hope not in size. <laughs> not oh, in size. Not in size. Any man. Uh, an iman and both in and responsibilities. <laughs> when you came to your wife about the second wife, how did she feel? Jealousy, but, yeah. but it is what it is. You said it is what it is. It is, what it is. Okay, it is what it is. Would you ever get a second wife? I don't know. Not not at this point. Maybe in the future. I don't know. Okay. You know. We will. We will. We will. Uh, no comments. <laughs> that's a good answer, Shake. That's a very good answer. That's a that's a that's a very good answer. If you get what I mean. If you. <laughs> oh, exposed. She's like, don't you, don't you try it. What are your thoughts? What do I thought about having four wives? How about let's start with two first. What do you thought with that? Don't let my wife hear you. He said that. So this is not going to be on TV, is yeah, it? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna be on the phone, Shake. She's gonna be like, yeah, that's what he said. No, may Allah bless you. May Allah bless your family as well, too. What is your advice for those who are doing secrets? Nick has a secret second wives, because it's out there, it's happening. And I, I'm not gonna get into the fiqh argument, yes. because they might find a scholar who will justify it sure. for them. But I think one of the main pillars of marriage is publicity. Yes. That's what we do, Nick. Walima and, and the Walima, yeah. yes. Yeah. So if, if if the second marriage is not publicized, then how how can you treat both of them in equally? Uh -huh. Allah Allah. The wisdom, the wisdom, the wisdom. Mashallah, barakallah, Shaykh. Okay, guys, we're under the shade, like the shade of Allah's mercy on the Day of Judgment. Sister, talk to us. If your husband came to you for a second wife, what would you feel? I gotta ask him why. Yeah, wow, okay. Why? Why? What, what what you didn't see in me, you see it in other girl. Mm. Okay. You know why you did that? Mm. If I'm missing something, is he has a right? He has a right to me. Sure. Or, right, like Islam tell us, but he has to be fair. Bad? Yes. Why bad? I don't know. Um, he can leave. Ooh. Okay. Depends what state I'm in. Would you be okay with that? I know you're saying bad, but how would you react to it, as in possibility-wise? What do you think? Uh, I think he will not do it. Why not? So I'm not. I'm not thinking about that. Okay. Okay, okay. You think so your husband won't even do it? No. But what if he did? Mm. What would you what would your thoughts be? Would you be like fight it, fight it, but then say yes or fight it, fight it and say no? Um fight it, fight it then Yeah, say yes. Oh wow, mashallah, barakallah, really? No. If he's taking care of me and he has enough to take care of someone else and like he gave gives me all my rights, maybe. But if he's not giving me and he's lacking on his rights, then of course he can leave and go with his second. So, so I noticed that you were sort of like, what on that? Tell me, tell me about that. I think I'm more than enough. Yeah. Yes. What do you recommend for, for the Muslims who are single trying to get married? Uh, what should they be looking for in a spouse? Uh, for a good Muslim girl. Mm -hmm. uh, they're looking for... Like uh, good behavior, good Muslim, good uh, respectful, just present a good Muslim, that's it. What is it that you're looking for in a spouse? What are some qualities? Um, somebody who respects me and gives me my rights. What about you? Respect and um, quality time. What do you think a woman should look for specifically? The same qualities? The maturity. Maturity. Tell me more about that. Yeah, maturity. We don't see men's. I have a lot of, I have six girls and we look at maturity guys. Maturity is the issue, mm. right? So what do you think makes a person mature? What is it? They look for look for the girls. That's the problem with yes. men. That's what I see as Yes, mom. you're not wrong. They, they always look, oh, she looks beautiful. I know she's beautiful, but you gotta look. Yeah. When do you feel like a person knows they're ready to get married? Um, subhanAllah, it just happens. If it's the right person, it just happens. Gotcha, what do you think? I feel like you, you're you ready to take on another person and take care of someone other than yourself. Uh, do you feel like uh, a person could become a better Muslim by having two wives? The religion says, if there is reasons, then uh, Allah will not uh, accept for a man to have uh, multiple wives. So if, uh, if he has like uh, reasons, um, okay. Okay. We can talk about that. How important is a sense of style for your husband to have? Mm, I can style him. 
You could style them. Oh, she said, I'll take care of that. What about you? I don't mind. You don't mind it. What does a mature man look like? What is that? Responsible. Yeah. Can take care of her. She can take care of him too. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Um, take care of each other. Trust each other. Beautiful. Respect each other. Okay. Um, they have to be one hand. Yes. Help, help each other. That's very. That's very true. Yeah, yeah. Mashallah. And I love the way that you're putting that perspective. And I love the fact that that's what you're teaching the daughters as well too. Because you know what? It's so. It's an age of social media. Shaitan is all around. You're one message away from someone talking to you and just getting in your head and your. Mind. All right. Oh, yeah. Right? Uh, what's the meher? Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Fifty-seven thousand dollars. Uh, okay. What, what do you think? Um, I think twenty to twenty-five is the average. Solid. Okay. What about you? Fifteen is more than enough. <laughs> okay. Where, where's your background from? Syrian. Okay. So the Syrians seem like they're on a better discount than the Yemenis guys. So keep that out there for information. Okay. I'm Muslim before I'm Syrian. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I love to hear that. So if you meet a brother. Right, um, and you're happy with the ikhlaq and such, and the deen and everything like that. Are you willing to negotiate that price? Sure, 100%. 100%. Because you think that's more important than the money? Yes, of yes. course. Yeah, definitely. So what would you be your advice that you would want to give women whose husbands come to them for a second wife? What's your advice that you would like to tell them? The, they, ha they, can't be, they cannot be complete. Nobody's complete except God. You know, alhamdulillah. But they got to see what's the issue, why he's looking, what he's looking, what he's missing that he didn't see in his wife. Then he go to see other women. Masha, sister, I just wanted to thank you so much for your maturity. I'm very happy that you're raising a beautiful set of children. Masha, they all ran away, so we're not going to talk. I'm upset at them now, okay? But you know what? Of course, no, I understand. But I just want to say thank you so much. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase you and bless you as well, too. And thank you for answering these questions. No problem. Thank you. Allah bless you. Okay? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Where can one meet a potential spouse? Um, family. The masjid. Would you be comfortable with a, for example, a marriage that your family, someone picks for you? Was that something you're comfortable with? Do you want to marry someone of like your own finding? Um, if I get to know him, then I don't mind. Yeah. Like you said, it's all about akhlaq. You can find akhlaq through family or through the masjid or anywhere. I love that answer. The Syrians are, mashallah, barakallah, phenomenal. Not that the Yemenis are not. Oh, by the way, North Yemen or South Yemen? Oh. I don't just Yemen. She, South Yemen, it's just Yemen all day. I, believe, I just believe it's one. That's it. That's how it should be. Thank you so much, sisters. Sheikh, where are you going? Is that? I'm the husband. Oh, you're the husband. You heard? <laughs> she just gave you permission, Sheikh. She just gave you permission, Sheikh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Sheikh, what, do you understand what just happened right now, Sheikh? But that's the reason. You know what? Honestly, honestly, because of that type of reason, I could see why you don't even want another swipe. Because I don't know if you'll find a better one than this one. Understand? Never. It's the, it's the blessing of Barakah. May Allah preserve the your best. marriage. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve your wedding and preserve your marriage and your family and your children and put more Barakah all the way until the day of judgment with all your generations. Amen. May Allah Amen. bless you. You're a very Amen. lucky man. Yes, thank you very much.